In any FPS game, it can be difficult to self-assess and improve. Today's video, we are going to solve the biggest question on the internet. How do I improve my aim in FPS games? Well, we have the answer. We're going to do it by utilizing Aim Lab's amazing feature that replays back your scenarios. We will utilize Apex Legends as comparison footage with tips. If you hit a roadblock for improvement, you have come to the right spot. Let's answer quickly. What is Aim Lab replay feature? When you finish a scenario, there's a section called replay. This is very different from you just recording your gameplay. Aim Lab replay shows the path of your aim, future pathing, optimal pathing, slow down your footage to a crawl, speed up your footage, and finally, you ever see a score you wish you just understood how in the world it was remotely possible? Now, go check them out and compare their VOD to yours. Now let us segue to five diverse scenarios and how you can self-assess what struggles you may run into while you aim train. Micro Star Track Precision is a scenario built to help you master micro tracking. In most FPS games, when you shoot at a target, there can be quite a bit of visual clutter. Your iron sights may block the target, recoil shakes, and visual effects from firing your ideal loadout. When you utilize the replayback feature, you can slow down the footage and review micro movements and find out how much you are overcorrecting your track and why you are actually missing those shots. This can help you discover if your sensitivity is too fast or perhaps you realize you need to breathe to keep a more fluid movement. Motion Shot Ultimate is where you master your flex. Your goal while watching the replay is to keep a close eye on how you go from point A to point B. You will analyze to replay how much you undercorrect, overcorrect, but most importantly in this scenario, perhaps how you curve your aim. In any battle royale, you will be tested in your reaction speed and you get caught off guard by a team surprising you forcing you to flick. In Apex Legends, it gets taken to another level with movements such as a tap strafe, zip line jump, or in general, an opponent utilizing their utility to get away. This is why this scenario has your crosshair center screen and adjust where an opponent will appear. Flow is important as you continue to master flicks, which is why we segue to our next scenario. Multi-Shot Ultimate. This scenario we discuss a ton for Apex Legends as you need to have control over a wide variety of motion. Multi-Shot Ultimate also requires optimal pathing and strong mouse control to a variety of targets as they shrink in size. This movement is matched in Apex when putting down fences as Watson or even flying in the air as Horizon. When you watch back in your replay, you'll focus heavily on optimal pathing and target prioritization. So turn on optimal pathing, slow down the footage, and check if you are honestly picking the right targets. Again, we ask the question, is your shot curved? Are you cleanly going from point A to point B? Because of the speed of multi-shot ultimate, even for the most experienced aimers, it will force these flaws to come to the forefront, and you will find a flow as you continue to master your aim. The replay is going to highlight what you need to focus on and try different variables such as a grip style, sensitivity, mouse pad, or even improving how you sit to maintain overall consistency. Now, Star Trek Precision is what builds that foundation for a smooth track in any FPS game, but helps immensely in games like Apex Legends. It can be hard with Apex, being such a fast-paced game where you panic flick or speed correct for recoil. Make sure your foundation here is perfect, smooth, and relaxed. So when you watch the replay, make sure you're not stuttering to correct or falling behind. Focus on how you can be as smooth as possible, maintaining as much accuracy as possible. That way, when you move into Apex, the additional recoil and tracking at target feels that much more seamless. And finally, Six Shot Ultimate is our final scenario, but also one of the most important. Hitting a static target that is really small with speed and precision is extremely difficult, and probably one of the most difficult scenarios on today's list. When you compare your score to a top score, you'll see both an immense amount of speed with very little compromise to accuracy. Now, what can slow down your speed is overshooting and micro-correcting to hit your target. Watch your replay very closely and keep an eye on how much time you spend correcting and lining up your shot. Even if it seems like it's minimal time, remember that if this occurs over the course of over 100 targets, how much time that adds up to. What do you think of the Aim Lab replay feature? Please comment down below if you knew about this feature, or comment down below if you're eager to try it out now. What we cover today is five scenarios that hit on a variety of different skill sets and how you can analyze your replay to watch for those mistakes that you're making in your aim and how you can try different means to correct it. Just as a friendly reminder, some of these ways to improve can be simply more practice, watching for overcorrection, speed, and how direct your aim is from point A to point B. Leave a like if you found this list helpful. Also, subscribe here on the official Aim Lab channel. Check the description out for everything Aim Lab, where you'll have a library of resources at your fingertips. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.